really haven't seen much that you could point to. Um, obviously, in our conference room, as we're looking at investments, we're thinking about a potential slowdown as you look at Chinese investments in particular. Um, and, and we're thinking about it, obviously, in the context of export businesses. But more generally, we're looking at what we see certainly in the U.S., but across the world, pretty good economic climate. Right. And I want to talk about the economic climate here. But before we sort of move on, I mean, foreign investment into the U.S. has been important. At Blackstone, certainly when you were running real estate, you were a beneficiary in particular of Chinese buying. Um, are you concerned at all about that? Well, the pullback in Chinese buying in the U.S. was driven by the Chinese a couple years ago when they put in place capital controls. I think the question now is, and it relates to China and more broadly, the U.S. is looking at foreign investment. There's some legislation working its way through Congress. And what our hope is, is that obviously they're focused on national security, which is really important and they've got to get right. But we also want to make sure that capital that creates jobs gets into this country. So if a Chinese company wanted to build a hotel here in New York, hire a bunch of people on the construction side, hire people to work in the hotel. That's a positive. Yep. We want that to happen. So we're hopeful that policymakers can thread that needle. You think they will? I, I'm, as I said, hopeful. I, I think they recognize. You've always been an optimist, John, and, and it's worked it's, out. Yeah, it's worked <laughs> out. But part of being an investor, as I said, is taking this longer view and, and, and trying to understand why something may or may not happen. Now, in this case, the technology side is really tough. So that's one where I'd say I don't see a clear path to how that gets resolved. But foreign investment in something like real estate, I would think that should be able to get through. Uh, your CEO, I mentioned, of course, uh, Steve Schwartzman, I mean, has, has been a fairly visible participant from the business community in this administration. Is there any insight you can share that he has in terms of where he sees things going? You know, Steve has these conversations, and one of the reasons I think he's trusted by all parties is because he holds them pretty close to the vest. He has um, direct dialogue. He's also very candid on these things. I, I think all of us are watching this, um, obviously concerned on the trade side because we believe um, in the importance of trade and investment. Um, and, and as I said, I think all of us are hopeful there'll be resolution here. but but. It's, it's hard to be confident, you know, when these things will settle soon. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.